The Wisconsin men's hockey program begins its 75th season this weekend, and the Badgers have a new head coach. Mike Hastings spent the last 11 years at Minnesota State, where he led the Mavericks to 13 regular season or conference tournament championships, eight NCAA tournament appearances, two Frozen Fours, and three times he was named National Coach of the Year. I'm Brian Posick, and Mike Hastings joins us next on the Badger Hockey Digest. Dear Sharp Curves, don't spin your wheels. Toyota has more all-wheel drive sedans than any other brand. So you can bet your bottom dollar that we're sharper than ever. Cause we got traction, baby. Yours, Toyota Sedans. Right now, get 3.99% APR for 48 months on a new Toyota Corolla, BZ4X, RAV4, Highlander, or Tacoma. Find yours at toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. We welcome in the Badgers head coach, Mike Hastings, getting ready for his first game as the Badgers head coach, as is his entire staff, as are 12 of the 26 players that will suit up for the Wisconsin Badgers this coming weekend against Augustana. So, Mike, what's it been like the first? Well, you were hired March 30th. What's it been like since? It's blown by. It's gone by in a hurry, um, but it's it's been a great experience getting to not only learn what it is to be part of the Badger family, but part of Madison um, and getting to know the city a little bit. My, my wife and I have enjoyed it and we're, we're excited about Saturday. We've been waiting for a while, uh, but the, the arms that have been reached out and put around us as a family uh, has been second to none. Uh, being able to complete our staff and get them in town and get them settled uh, has allowed the transition then to go into our summer with the players and now the early part of our, our preseason now getting to the regular season is something we've been waiting for. Yeah, your staff includes Todd Connaught, who was with you at Minnesota State. Nick Oliver came from the Fargo Force, former St. Cloud State Husky. Kevin Murdoch handling the goaltenders. He played a year at Minnesota State and also Lake Superior State. You like this staff you put together and you've known Todd for a long time and your chemistry seems to work. Yeah, well, you know what? I, I, one, uh, I think surrounding yourself with, with good people is something that I learned from my father a long time ago. Uh, I think his point was surround yourself with people smarter than you, and that hasn't been a real steep hill to climb. <laughs> uh, but Todd's been somebody that's been by my side as a Division One head coach from day one. Uh, his ability to connect with players, uh, his, eyes, his eye for recruiting, um, and then to continue to develop that over time while the guys are with you, I think really separates him. And, and we've had a lot of success together and wouldn't have had the success without him uh, that we've had. I look forward to that journey continuing here. Uh, Nick Oliver having success in a real early career, a little bit younger, maybe a little bit more close to the age of the guys that we have <laughs> and, and a different way of connecting with the players, um, but somebody that's had a lot of success as a player is an NHL draft pick, had success at St. Cloud State, was an assistant there with Brett Larson, tried to steal him at MSU a little bit. Uh, when Wisconsin came knocking, he answered that door, very blessed. He had a great career or a great year in the USHL as a head coach, uh, winning the, you know, regular season championship. So him along with Doc, Todd, feel very good about where we're at and where we're going. Yeah, good staff and a good group of leaders too. Mike Vorlicki is the team captain, Matthew D. St. Fowl and transfer David Cilia are the alternate captains. Let's take two minutes with Mike Vorlicki. Honestly, it was pretty exciting. It's an honor, I mean, to have those guys pick me and Maddie and Dave is pretty special for us. And like I was saying earlier, it's pretty easy to lead these guys knowing how big of leaders each and every one of them are. So 
yeah, it should be a special year, and I'm excited for it. Yeah, Matthew D. St. Fowl and David Cilia are the alternate captains, and I know David had played for Mike Hastings at Minnesota State. Matthew D. St. Fowl in his fourth year, you've known him for quite some time, but there's some other leaders on this squad, aren't there? Oh, yeah, I think up and down the lineup, there's guys that they've been leaders in their past teams, and they, they do it the right way. They follow guys and lead by example, and I think that's huge, having guys that have already stepped into a role like that and just kind of being leaders in their own right, it just breeds a mentality of we're going to do it the right way. And you think about it, where you were two years ago with that hip surgery, um, you know, that was some trying times for you. And yeah. Now you're the captain. A lot has changed, hasn't it? Yeah, Owen and I working through that together, that was big. Um, I mean, I didn't really worry about the outcome of it, but uh, I kind of knew the process was going to be hard, but it, having the guys around and just making sure I was at the rink every day was huge. And yeah, we got through it on the other side. Yeah, and finally, speaking of change, there's a whole new coaching staff. There's 12 newcomers on this squad as well. So what's practice been like? And I'm sure you can't wait to finally hit the ice too. Yeah, I think you and I were talking about it earlier too. Like the practice has been great. It's been, it's almost like you're playing a game every day, which that makes the game probably that much easier. I haven't done it yet, but I'm assuming being this condition and working this hard every day will be that much better for or for the games and with the newcomers I think guys are obviously adjusting just like me like I'm no different I haven't had it before so I'm getting used to it and I think we're kind of turning the page on it and I think we're going to start to take ownership more of our practices and that, that's huge. Something big is happening. Introducing High V Perks. Now, High V Fuel Saver is High V Perks. Get the same great benefits like fuel savings. Plus, save even more on hundreds of products store wide with H Perks prices. Like Tide, H Perks price $9.97. And Bananas, H Perks price $0.39 cents a pound. Make the switch or sign up today. It's free and easy. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. Mike, uh, Mike Vorlicki went through some injury issues a couple of years ago along with Owen Lindmark. They sat and watched a lot of games. They want this program to get back to what I remember as a, a young man, what you remember as a young man when Jeff Sauer was the head coach, Mike Eves, uh, and then Matty D. St. Fowl and David Cilia, who you know quite well. That's a pretty good leadership core right there. Yeah, those guys have stepped up, you know, and it's interesting because you've got two sides of the coin there. You've got a couple of guys in, in Mike and, and Maddie who have been here before. Um, and then you've got David Sillier who comes in as a leader back at MSU. And how soon or how quick is that going to be able to become one? Both sides, I think, have brought what they needed to the table. Mike and Matt have allowed our group, the, the group of four transfers, the freshmen uh, that the previous group recruited, to come in and get their feet on the ground and going in the right direction in a hurry. Those two guys, they did that immediately. David's done a good job by being an example setter and getting himself right into the fiber of our group. Those three are going to be guys we'll count on consistently throughout this year. Yeah. By the way, you'll notice number 15, David Cilia. He was the CCHA forward of the year last year, potted 23 goals. Hopefully he can do that again. Well, uh, the season starts this weekend against Augustana. So what can fans expect when they watch your squad skate? this season well you know what first and foremost honesty in our effort in in what we do and really us controlling what we get to control you know the the effort the attitude the discipline um, and then really the selflessness uh, on you know are we going to set the next group up for success are we going to do the little things whether it's finishing a check whether it's making sure we don't extend a shift uh, doing some of the hard things that you have to do to be successful at this level and then hopefully when they walk out of the building they feel like they weren't cheated uh, and so our group's got an opportunity to show that on Saturday and hopefully we'll put our best foot forward all right Mike good luck have fun
Thank you. You're welcome. That's Mike Hastings. The Badgers and Augustana, a first-year Division I program, face off on Saturday night at 7 o'clock, Sunday at 5. Both games are on the Badgers Sports Network. For Coach Hastings and Jay Williams, I'm Brian Posick. Thanks for watching the Badger Hockey Digest. This has been a presentation from Learfield.